Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brad, and my hands is a local man, number one. I already wrote a review of this on our site. Uh, for those who've read that, you know, I liked this issue. I liked it so much, I bought a copy to make sure I could do a video and promote it a little bit more. Uh, it's, it's good. It's really, really good. Uh, so, the Farmington arc uh, is by Tony Fleeks with uh, colors by Brad Simpson. And then the third gen art is by Tim Seeley with colors by Felipe Sobrero, uh, created and written by Tim Seeley and Tony Fleeks. Now, this is actually a flip book. Uh, there's kind of like the present and there's the past. So the story is about this guy named Jack, uh, who is a hero, who's part of a superhero team that has been kicked off of that superhero team and is now having to go back home to go live with his parents. He went by the superhero name of Crossjack, Crossjack and uh, the team was third gen. Um, the comic, like, going into it, I kind of expected, like, I expected not necessarily a spoof and a riff on 1990s image superhero books, but something kind of, like, maybe a little bit in vain, maybe a little, or like, a little bit kind of like that, a little bit updated. Uh, but what really kind of intrigued me about this is that it, it feels like an a homage, a love letter, and also kind of a spoof of it all at the same time. Um, so Crossjack and the other superheroes of the team that uh, third gen that he was on, um, I mean third gen is just like it's, it's kind of they're kind of idiotic. They really do feel like a team that would have existed in 1990s image. Uh, and now for those who have different opinions, my opinion on 1990s image is that there was some good. They did a lot for the industry. They definitely shook up the industry. Um, but the comics coming out generally were not good. Um, I was there when Image launched in, in 92. I remember going to get my Spawn number one, my Young Blood number one, or trying to get Young Blood number one because it sold out. Uh, my Young Blood number one, uh, I think I eventually got a second printing, might have gotten a first printing too. Um, you know, I remember Wildcats and, and uh, Brigade and Cyberforce and, and Wetworks and all that stuff. And like to me, it was always visuals over story. And that was it kind of felt like the mantra for quite a while with Image. And it's within recent times, I would say maybe the last, you know, the last decade or so, uh, definitely, is that it is uh, story and image. Uh, story and the visuals are just important. Um, there's been amazing comics coming out. I'm, I'm not trying to shit on, on Image. I'm just, I'm be honest, is like, I just don't remember 90s Image being very good. There's some stuff that was awesome. Um, there was some stuff that I look, I love and remember fondly, but just I remember so many times, especially with those launch titles, of picking up, reading it, and just going like WTF, like what the hell did I just read? And I was, you know, what, 13 at the time, 14 at the time, roughly, 13. Um, and I could even, rec I could recognize like this is just not good storytelling. Um, the images were fantastic. The visuals were amazing. The concepts were really cool. The narrative and the actual uh, through line and all that just was not, not there. Um, so going back to local man, uh, so the comic is flipped. There's the modern day Cracker Jack is moving with his parents. He's clearly done something to be embarrassed, to get kicked off the team, uh, to piss off the people around him, to think that this, he's like a worthless loser. Uh, his parents clearly think he's kind of a worthless loser. Um, there's some cool, uh, references to old school, uh, image. They ask why he can't join Cyber, Fo Cyber Force or Brigade at this point. Uh, so it's in the image world, which I think is really kind of neat. Um... And then there's a twist at the, a twist at the end. There's a hint as to where this is going. This isn't some like deconstruction of the loser hero who has to find his way. There is, um, there is something more going on here, and I'm I'm kind of pumped by that uh, to see where this all goes. Then uh, there's the flip book. So let's show, let's show the art for this to start off with. We'll, we'll we'll go with this. So this is the kind of the opening. He's trying to get home, and uh, he lives in the middle of nowhere. It's like. I mean, it says Farmington, but I'm going to go with, like, Iowa or something like that. I don't remember if they actually say. Yeah, so Heartland, I think, is really all they say. So the art, art is pretty solid. I like it. Um, then there's the flip side. The flip side is more of Jack with his team. Uh, we get to see an adventure of third gen. And what we learn is third gen's kind of a bunch of douches. Um, this is not a group, good group of people. And, we kind of, and it throws in the narrative of, like, maybe Jack's not the issue here, and maybe... The other people on his team is the issue. Uh, so to me, that's actually kind of interesting. I mean, it opens up, like, if this doesn't scream 90s image, like, I don't know what does. 
you go through the the characters and they're just, they're just sillier and silly. So you got like Cutting Edge. Uh, he's this Silicon Valley guy um, who basically tries to turn himself into like a cut rate Wolverine. It seems like Softcore um, coats her skin in impenetrable poly polymer, and she was in music videos. There's Air Raider, who's a pilot that fused himself with his plane. Big Island is this guy who sacrificed himself. Uh, to a volcano and got cybernetic technology. Neon is this hippie uh, who got who uh, inhaled extra dimensional vapors and now she can control laser light. And the leader is Camo Crusader, who's chosen as the savior of Christian morality and the right to bear arms. Just so cheesy, so awesome. Um, which is really, really, I think, captures... I mean, that's Christian Crusader. Like, this is freaking great. Uh, really captures that 90s vibe for Image. Uh, good and bad and everything. And, you know, what's what's fun is, like, they could have gone in and just made a big goof. But to me, what I really like about the backup story is that it, it enhances Jack's current story. Like, we learn about the team, who he has to deal with, and it, may, it puts some... It throws some questions out there about Jack himself. Uh, maybe he's not quite the screw up that we were led to believe, and there's something more going on, and maybe the team is the, his former teammates are more of the issue. Um, so yeah, I think it was a fantastic debut. Like it's if you have a little bit of nostalgia for old school, uh, old school image, but also maybe want some of the newer superhero stuff, like you know we we've seen with Radiant Black and stuff like that. Um, this is like a great blend of the two. So. Check it out. It's it's so, so good. I would be shocked if this isn't a sellout, if it's not already sold out. Uh, go get it. It's in comic shops now. Uh, we've got a link below this video. Put in your zip code. I'll tell the comic shops near you. No shop, no problem. A, uh, we've got some links where you can purchase your own. Um, did I already say that? Yeah, we've got some links below. <laughs> purchase below. Uh, they're affiliate links. So we get a small percentage by doing that. You support our site. Uh, and speaking of support, just watch our video support us. So thank you for that. If you're into comics, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, TikTok, and Mass on all graphic policy, keeping it nice and consistent. So until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.